Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan. I do technical analysis on leveraged ETFs in which I trade and I uh, like to share them with you. Uh, anyways, we're going to be going over two extra um, ETFs today. We've got Soxel, Semiconductors, oh. SPXL, The Market, TMF, Bonds, RUSL, uh, Russia, BRZU, Brazil, UGAS, Natural Gas, ERX, Energy, GDX, Gold, uh, XIV, Volatility, LABU, uh, Biotech, and UWT, um, Crude Oil. So starting off, uh, each of these are on the daily scale, and I do my trading on the 5 minute and 15 minutes. So right now I have each of these charts set up for um, the daily scale, just to start off with the general trend, and we will be um, you know, narrowing it down to the 15 minute, the 5 minute, and then the 1 minute, just to show the price action. But this is to identify the mega trend that's going on, for example, with SOXL, we can see that the trend has most certainly been up all year. I think it's up over 200 so percent. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, actually, first of all, let's identify the super trend that's going on here. We have our um, consolidation zone, and then we have our breakout. This is our one, two, three. This whole leg up is three, four, and I think that we're coming into our fifth wave right now. And I actually sold out of all of my shares of SOXL, and I'll show you guys why. Let's zoom into the two-hour chart, see if we can identify anything else. So we just came out of a long three-wave, and I was able to identify a mini um, Elliott wave in between it. We've got our breakout zone here, and we've got our one, two, three, four, five, and we have our retracement, A, B, C, all the way down to the bottom of this channel. And uh, we come into our next wave. Let's go into the 30-minute uh, chart and look at this wave. I actually drew a new channel here um, just to identify the price action. We see a low, a high, a low, a high, a low, a high. So this channel is significant at this point. Um, I also drew this. Um, anyways, let's get into it. We've got five ways. So in our, our super trend, we are entering what I believe to be our fifth wave. And I also see that we are entering a fifth wave in this new leg here. So we've got a one, two, three, big sell off, um, uh, four, and I think that this is going to be five up here. Uh, this is further supported by other things that I see going on right here. Um, this Fibonacci right here, this it, just shows the power of Fibonacci. You can basically draw fib lines at like any point in a chart, and it could be like months later or years later, a price will get up to a certain level and bounce off, and you'll be like, why is that? And uh, you'll realize later that it, it hit a uh, Fibonacci level. Uh, for example, I drew this line. This is my start. See, I drew it up to this one, 100%. Came down to the 61.8, and then it ran all the way up to the 200% right here, and I sold out at the 227. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys the power of Fibonacci uh, levels and how they are relevant in trading. I'm going to delete this now because I think it makes the chart kind of crowded. Uh, let's get further into it. And... Get into the five minutes because that's where it starts getting relevant. This five minutes still captures, you know, two weeks, two, three, four weeks worth of price action, so it is still relevant to us. But we've got our A, B, C here, and then um, this is our larger Elliott wave right here. But um, I have price moving in a um, Elliott wave inside of an Elliott wave inside of an Elliott wave. So we've got our one, two, three, four, and five. So that's three. Um, Elliott waves that I have drawn a super trend, a medium term trend, and a um, Elliott wave from the last couple weeks of trading action, all of them ending right here. This is also supported because it's at the top of a trend right now. And uh, the last thing that really set it off for me, also the Fibonacci was at 227%, which, you know, is a major, you know, resistance loan, uh, resistance zone, just naturally. Um, Let's go on to one minute and show you guys the final thing that set me off was this head and shoulders that I saw. It was pretty obvious. I saw this left shoulder came down this head and this right shoulder. If you want more evidence, I have a divergence on the RSI in basically all indicators. We see our RSI turning down right here, our money flow turning down, and our CCI turning down, and yet we have price moving upwards. So all these facts was the reason that I exited the trade today. So what do I expect price to do? I expect price to come down to this previous channel. 
and consolidate. And after that, I really don't know what might happen. Um, a larger time frame divergence that I saw here in the 15 minute. It was on the 5 minute. No, it was on the 15 minute. Was this price action. We see that our RSI peaks right here. And it makes a lower one. And uh, this could also be a lower one. And um, here we have price moving upwards, marked by this uh, blue arrow right here. See what I mean here? We've got our RSI just turning down and price just moving up. These things can't happen together. So for the meantime, I am bearish on semiconductors. All right, so lastly, let's just uh, do our due diligence and write out the reasons why we are bearish. DW stands for Elliott Wave. Um, medium term coming to fifth. EW short term coming to fifth EW RSI divergence uh, top of channel and lastly we have a head and shoulders. So all these together support my short-term thesis that semiconductors might be bearish for the next week or two. And I, I expect them to drop down to this previous support line and new trend. Um, all right, moving on to the overall market. What do we have here? 